You read it to me. For Nicole, how did Robert Eggers approach you for the role of Queen Gudrun? What draws you towards this Viking revenge saga? And lastly, as a veteran, does this role offer you any unique experience entirely new to you? Okay, um, Rob actually flew to Nashville and um, we went out to lunch at a little Italian joint and um, he told me about this story and we talked about it. Remember, it in was Paris. in Paris. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, and you're like this, Rob is the real deal. I remember you saying to me. Yeah. And going, it's going to be crazy. Because at that point, Rob and I had been developing and working it on, on the project for about three, four years. So we, we knew each other very well. Yeah. Uh, I had never been on the set with him, but I had a, I had a good feeling. Yeah. And um, and so I was, I had a good feeling too. I met him and I went, he's the real deal. I'd seen his, um, his other films and he screened The Lighthouse for me, made me see it on a huge screen. Um, and then we talked and so I was like, I'm in. And I think the thing that appealed to me was that it was going to be so real and that it was um, just going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> Is that it right? It was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was crazy in, a, in, the, in the best way possible. Yeah. I arrived really going, oh my gosh, this is going to be really, really hard. And it was, it was like I breathed in that air there, that Viking air. And I was invigorated. Yeah. I, I found the whole thing completely hypnotizing and invigorating. It's quite an uh, immersive experience because yeah. all the, the scenes are basically just one long continuous shot. Um, and Rob is all about authenticity and mm. uh, the attention to detail and historical accuracy is just bar it's none. Insane. So, uh, like the wool and the way everything was made, and the one pair of shoes made out of leather that were yeah. actual, the way they would have been made in the Viking, everything was authentic. Which actually, we didn't have to act at all because no. we were in that <laughs> in that world, and everything was authentic and uh, genuine. Um, and moving around those sets again, it was all shot 360, one mm -hmm. camera following us. So it's mm -hmm. um, very, and most of it on location. Um, so it definitely had a, quite an immersive experience. Mm. Okay. And this was so unique to finish the question um, for me because, yeah, I'd never been um, in this sort of epic before in this way. And I think also there's something about shooting at 3 a.m. In, um, in Northern Ireland on a mountain with the wind whipping through and it and moonlight shining down and it, it was like we were channeling all of these yeah. spirits. And that Viking village was built almost a year before we shot it. And again, it's a Robert Eggers film, so it was built by archeologists and Viking historians mm. to, make, to make sure that every single, that was the right type of wood, they would plant the right type of grass a year before shooting it. So it was uh, just the most incredible location. Yeah. And a real privilege to, walk around a set that is actually not a set. It's a real like yeah. village. And, and we, we'll just never shut up. <laughs> no, that was <laughs>